not a good sign for Gilbert. Particularly now Williams has knocked that one in. One. And uh, he's finished nicely on this green. So the pink to lead by 29. Now the reds get a little bit more awkward to manoeuvre because he doesn't need them all. Seventy. Going to need three of the f five reds here. So he's got one more out in the open. And then I guess it's the one on the right-hand side cushion. C4. C5. Just checking the scoreboard, this pink to lead by 43, so one more red and Dave Gilbert will need a snooker, it's going to be the one on the right hand side. Doesn't quite come far enough, going to need the long stuff, but just needs to drop the red in. That's and where the others are, even if he missed this and left it on, the clearance uh, is not exactly straightforward. So just needs to focus on trying to drop the red in. And that's exactly what he's done. And has, uh, I guess, a free shot at this pink, really. He'll put him 50 in front with 43 on. So if the pink goes in, Gilbert needs two snookers. Well, will Gilbert play on here? Williams, 38. Williams has freed the black, which helps Gilbert. He needs blacks, so that's... And the front. Well, he's had a look. I think he's in a snooker, and he's decided to sit back down again. So Mark Williams, in uh, no time at all, really, has won the opening frame. Gilbert had chances, missed a couple... And the sign's not good for Gilbert. Remember, rooted to the bottom of the group at the moment and uh, struggling already here in this second match of the day for him. Ricky Walden and Joe Perry are 2 2 on uh, table two. And as we can see in the early stages of the decider, it's a very tight group this. Joe Perry. Ten years ago, won the first ever Championship League, 2008. He was another late call-up. His good friend, actually, Barry Hawkins, is uh, not well at the moment, so he withdrew. Perry has stepped in a group early. He's due to come in Group 6 tomorrow. So, decider there. Only had one decider yesterday. That also involved Ricky Walden. Beat Ben Wollaston 3-2. Well, Gilbert hoping for better things here in frame two, having uh, not made much impression on the opening frame, despite a few chances. Williams very confident right now. He's uh, teamed up with Stephen Feeney from sight right, which is an alignment technique, which he uh, feels has made a huge difference to his game. And the results have come. They really have. 
Well, that cue ball, I think he's going in. Foul. Dave Gilbert, four. Well, he's playing a one-handed escape. He's done that before. It's worked better before. That didn't work. He's left a red to the middle. No one else would play it like that, one-handed. <laughs> but that's Mark Williams for you. But it's not worked. He's left a pretty simple start of a Gilbert. This is the moment where Gilbert starts to find a bit of form, find a bit of confidence, which is what he's after. Seven. This is match five for each of these two, so Williams plays Joe Perry. Gilbert, Ricky Walden in the last set of matches. Yeah, just not happening for him. It really isn't. Gilbert, 22. That's referee Reckon Igler for the spider. Bit of height, because uh, pink's in the way. This is shaping up to be a good scoring chance for Williams, with the black on its spot, reds to go at. Been a pro now. 26 years. 12. Thirteen. Member of the celebrated class of 92, that all turned pro in 1992. Many of them, but the standout three were this man, Mark Williams, John Higgins and Ronnie O'Sullivan. Who between them have won everything worth winning in the game many times over. Twenty. So I think 79 ranking titles combined, the three of them.
checked. Twenty-nine. But for all his success, William's personality has never changed. He's exactly the same as he always was. As people who follow him on Twitter have discovered. Well, that it didn't quite come off as planned. 36. So it looks like end of break. 36 from the Welshman. Mark Williams, 36. Just sent that red far enough, I think. Or has he? Well, he might be able to cut this in. If so, that's a mistake from Williams. Real big mistake, that, from Mark Williams. And look at that kindly little kiss on the yellow, as long as the yellow stays out, which it has, to leave him on the black. So Williams lost position, but then he played a poor safety. Jaws. <coughs> sort of feeling of now or never for Gilbert, who struggled in the first match. Was outplayed by Gould, who had two centuries. I struggled badly in this match, but in with a chance here as he nudges a point in front. But this is a tester, considering how he has struggled. Not straightforward, this part. Nicely done, though. 12. Now looking to get into this cluster of three. But uh, even if he does open them, he will still need the awkward red on the left-hand side cushion. Just depends how much angle he has, I think, on this black. Not a lot, he would seem. And he's missed the cannon. <coughs> Disappointing. 90. Like I say, he'll need this red that he's uh, now looking at just off the side cushion. Nineteen. One. Well, it's a big mistake from Gilbert to leave that pot on. But doesn't look like Williams is on the pink. It's going to be hard to get into these three off a bulk colour. These three reds, that is. So just the safety. Lay the snooker. 
Try and get Gilbert to open the reds up and leave a chance on. Eight points in the frame. It's about pace, really. Doesn't want to play. Well, he's turning away in disgust. But actually, he's worked out all right. <laughs> he thought he completely mishit it. Just flicked off the red and hasn't left anything on it, I think. using all his uh, years of match play experience to again put Gilbert in trouble and it is trouble this time because the Reds are out in the open now so <laughs> if he leaves anything on for Williams then it's a chance for the Welshman to make it 2-0. has left a chance on and Williams a great long potter Take the lead in the frame. Golden chance for 2 0. 30. 40. It's going to need down to the brown, this blue, and then yellow, green, and brown to lead by 20 with 18 on. And that would mean Gilbert staring down the barrel of a second successive whitewash today, having lost to Martin Gould. Let's see what. Mark Williams, two balls from 2 0. Just checking that score, but that's, uh, that's the maths. So in the end, superior match play, the difference here, he laid the trap with the snooker, he got the result, he should have won the frame. 38. So Mark Williams... Makes a good little contribution there after laying the snooker. Makes the winning break in this frame and leads Dave Gilbert 2-0. One more frame to register his third victory in this fifth group of the Championship League. Now it's getting quite exciting next door on table two. Deciding frame, Ricky Walden and Joe Perry. And Perry just needs this yellow. He's 27 in front. So just needs this yellow and it should be his point, 3-2 to the gentleman. Barring snookers, it's obviously been hard fought stuff. Started out 90 minutes ago or so. It looks like Perry, well, maybe not. Snooker required, so it's not quite over the line, but uh, obviously in the driving seat there. The 
next match on there will feature Ben Wollaston and Judd Trump. So, Mark Williams here on table one leads Dave Gilbert 2 0. He needs one more frame Mark. for victory. It would be his third and would significantly, significantly enhance his chances of qualifying for tonight's playoffs. Full-blooded attempt, got close to it, but Red refuses to go in. And uh, again, Gilbert trying to make something happen, happen, and it's just not quite happening at the moment for the Englishman. Well, where's this going to finish? Is what he's wondering. He's left a chance. Didn't get too close, actually, Williams, to that pot, to the yellow bag. Taking what? the opportunity that he had there to go into the reds and open a few more out. But he's got to be careful because now he's done that, of course, he's leaving chance for Williams if he were to break down. And straight away, it's gone wrong. He's caught the brown. Six. And he's lost position, I think. That's disappointing for Gilbert. Gilbert, six. Well, look at this for a shot as well, just piling on the pressure now. Look at all the reds. I mean, where do you where do you leave the cue ball here? You might just whack it, you know. Play the <laughs> play the old-fashioned hit and hope. Bottom line is he's in big trouble. <laughs> uh, he's just not sure how to approach this. Could be the smack. Here we go. Wow. Well, he's still got a chance. Well, well I think they'll be going back. The miss called. Nothing on. So. Mark Williams asked for the white to be put back. You can get lucky doing this. You know, he gets safe, maybe even flute one. So it's not necessarily uh, as crazy as it first looks, but... Well, that's uh, back in the right place. But it looks like he's going to play it again. Problem is he's relying on luck. <coughs> well, he's changed his mind now. He's playing to this red in the middle of the table. <coughs> it's all cocooing, so although he's left a chance, it's not easy this, over the blue. Just 
got to drop the red in though. For the black. So what? Mark Williams. Well, is he on the black? It's like Grimace. Well, I don't think he is. It doesn't quite come far enough. So that's a let off for Gilbert. That could have been end of match. Mark Williams won. thing is Gilbert has had a lot of chances actually in this match this is another one but he's low on confidence at the moment just uh, cannot make anything happen for him Williams comes to the table with the black tied up. One. And didn't have an angle to get on anything else, so just a safety. But again, he can take control of the table, try and put Gilbert in a bit more trouble. That's the plan. Williams, one. This time not a snooker, but he's keeping the pressure on Dave Gilbert. And he's already feeling it. evidence there of what I'm saying but again Williams you know playing tight match snooker to try and force these openings the reds are nicely spread black tied up but uh, if you can get the pink back on its spot here then that helps One. so Mark Williams then with a chance to win this match and get his third point send himself into second place in the table and then he'd be looking really good to make the playoffs tonight. Seven. Eight. Twenty. Twenty. 
Well, won't need the black or the Six. two safe reds next to it can win this frame without them. 27. Pretty miserable for Gilbert though if he is to lose here because that's two whitewashes in a row. He's only won four frames and one point. So he's really struggling. Even if he were to win his last match against Ricky Walden, it'd still be a struggle, I think. Put it this way, if he doesn't win that match, then he will be relegated. 33. 34. This isn't over yet, but it's a good chance for Mark Williams to close it out. So, as you can see, snook already required. And uh, it always looked a good chance for Williams. And he's taken it nicely. And it's going to be a whitewash. And it's going to be a struggle for Dave Gilbert 61. now to stay in this uh, year's Championship League. Mark Williams, though, goes second in the table. So, by far the highest break of the match wins Mark.